Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to set up Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi. Home Assistant is a community driven open source home automation platform that puts privacy and local control first. It supports integration with a wide range of existing home devices and it's a perfect choice for DIY enthusiasts. So let's get started. For this you will need a Raspberry Pi 3 or later, an SD card of at least 16GB, an SD card reader, a power supply for your Raspberry Pi and an Ethernet cable. Home Assistant also works with Wi-Fi but using an Ethernet cable is much more reliable. So first you will need to download the operating system image from this website. The link of this page is given in the description below. Click on downloads of the latest version of the software that is available. But if the latest one is an RC version, choose the one just before that. Because the RC or release candidate version might not be stable enough. Choose the .image.exe set file that corresponds to your Raspberry Pi model. If you have a Raspberry Pi 3 or 4, you will notice that there are two .exe set files. Choose the one with the hyphen 64 in the file name. That corresponds to the 64-bit version of the operating system. Then go to Google and search for Balina HL. Go to the first result you get and click on download. We will be using this software to flash the operating system onto the SD card. Once that's done, open Balina HL and click flash from file and select the image file which we just downloaded. Then insert your SD card into the computer and click on select target. Then select your SD card from the list. Make sure that you select the right SD card since it will format all the data that is already in it. Then click flash. After the flashing is complete, you can remove your SD card from the computer. So after flashing the SD card, now you can insert the card into your Raspberry Pi, plug in the Ethernet cable and power up the Raspberry Pi. Now just wait for the Raspberry Pi to connect to your existing network. After a few minutes, you will be able to access the home page of Home Assistant on your computer at homeassistant.local colon 8123. If the page doesn't open up immediately, just wait for a few more minutes. And once the page loads, you will be greeted with this message, preparing Home Assistant. You will need to wait for a few minutes for the initial setup to be completed. And if you like the video till now, a like to this video would be really appreciated. After the initial setup is completed, you will be asked to create a new account in this page. So I will be creating my new account right now. And once that's done, you can give a name to your home assistant installation and set your location and time zone. And in this page, home assistant will show the existing device that it automatically detects. But uh, you can skip this page for now. So this is the Home Assistant's home page. So right now the Home Assistant installation and setup is complete. But right now we are going to install a few add-ons which will be very useful in the future for configuring your Home Assistant. So for that you will need to go into Supervisor and click on Add-on Store. And search for File Editor. The File Editor add-on will be useful for editing files from the Home Assistant page. Once the installation is complete, turn on Show in Sidebar and click on Start. Here you can select the file which you want to edit. The configuration.yaml is the configuration file which you will be using frequently in the future videos. So the next add-on we are going to install is Samba Share. This enables us to create a shared folder from the Raspberry Pi so you can access it from any computer on the network. After the installation is complete, go to configuration tab and type in a username and password and click on save. Now 
then go back to info and click on start. And you can use Samba Share to copy files into the Raspberry Pi or edit the configuration files from here. If you are on Windows, to access the shared folder, go to your file explorer and type in double backslash your IP address. You will be asked to log in, just enter the username and password which we just configured. If you are on Mac, open find the window and from the go menu, select connect to server. Then type in smb colon double slash homeassistant.local and click connect. You will be asked to log in. Just enter the username and password which we just configured. So these are the two main add-ons that are very useful for a home assistant installation. I guess this video was helpful for you guys and don't forget to hit the like button if this video was helpful. This is the first video of a series of home automation videos I will be posting on this channel. My name is Akshay James and I will see you in the next one.